in Hill Valley anymore. <laughs> and in animal news, a large quantity of plutonium was stolen by gorillas last night. I guess they want to trade it for bananas, huh? They were gorillas, not gorillas, Kent. <laughs> oh, of course. I always get apes and monkeys mixed up. Hey, Doc! Doc? Hello, anybody home? Einstein? Here, boy. Ah, whoa! Ow! Ah, Doc, this is disgusting. Seriously, where are you? Oh, well, I guess I can kick back for a while. Or maybe I can finish off that amplifier the Doc's been working on. <laughs> the Doc should really hire a cleaner or something. There's gotta be enough junk around this place to fix up a simple amp. <laughs> Nearly there. Just need to add a few dials and it's good to go. Nice. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Booyah! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you invite Cyborg along. Man, it must be cool to travel through time. Don't suppose you've got next week's lottery numbers, huh?
1.15 a.m., just like you asked, Doc. Doc? Stop recording! Once that baby hits one of these, you'll hit 88 miles per hour and whoosh! Time travel is that simple? Yes! If you ignore the complex bits, such as 1.21 gigawatts of electricity needed to power the flux capacitor, I've set the time circuits for November 5th, 1955, the day I invented time travel! Great Scott! It's the Libyans! They found me! I borrowed something from them. Quickly, hide! I'll draw them off. later. Time circuits on, flux capacitor fluxing, engine running, let's go! <laughs> this isn't for my time, I don't even know how to use it. properly later. Hmm. <laughs> 
I shall probably check that this doesn't have any evil inscriptions. No, nope, seems quite safe. It's me, Marty! Open up! Do I know you? If you're here about the strange lights and noises, then that was my neighbor. No, Doc, it's me, Marty! I'm from the future! Look, I can explain everything. Great Scott! I know, it, it's heavy duty, Doc. And, and there's something else. After we finish recording... No! Don't tell me! You must never know too much about your own future. Speaking of which, we have to get you back to yours. Where are you going to get 1.21 gigawatts of electricity in 1955? From the lightning, Marty. Shopping list. That better do it. If we could harness the lightning and channel it into the time travel machine, it will supply all the power you can need. All you need to do is connect these cables, buddy. Then the lightning strikes and travel straight down into the machine. Time to head to the grave. <laughs> Batman. up.
Time circuits on, flux capacitor fluxing, engine running, let's go! I hope you read that shopping list. Bacon! What happened in never knowing about your future? Well, I figured. What the heck? Why do these things always have to be so... Whoa! This is heavy! <laughs> Hill Valley. Just like I remember it. Or maybe we'll remember it. Or... Remember it in the future. 